Hi, I'm Gabriel at CV in the art room. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mushroom inside of a marble today, or plunge mushroom. This is the stringer that I'm going to use. I'm going to take this. When this gets hot, the marble, is. when it gets hot, I'm going to take this and I'm going to shove it inside so it'll make that mushroom. So we have to get it warm. And now here we go. And there we go. We're just going to push it inside. And you can see as it goes in, it just mushrooms out. I'm just going to burnish the end off. So just take that stringer, just burn it right off. So as soon as this, um, we get this back into a uh, like a ball shape, you can see the mushroom inside. So we're just going to heat up, and then this melts it all back together, giving it that round shape. Just make sure as long as it's being spun that you can see it'll all melt back together into a round ball. So now we're going to transfer it over. We're, make, we're going to make a punty soon. Now we're going to heat this up while the other one is cooling. The, this is the cold bond. So we're going to heat up the small one and wait for the big one to cool. And then we'll connect for about, hold, hold the big one out for about 15 seconds. And then, and there we go. For it to cool down before we start doing other things with it. And we're going to heat it up, and we're just going to we're going to get rid of the rod now because we don't need this bit. So we're heated up, and we're going to twist off. Look out, it might get warm if it's if your rod is too short. And now if this rod gets too short, we could add a punty onto the other side and make it longer. But we're just gonna twist off. Get rid of that end. This is we can pull the end now. So what we can do we can get we can get that hot. We can get rid of this ugly bit. We can transfer it over. We have to either melt it back in, or we can pull the little bits off of it. So now that we have this rod, what we can do is we can heat that up, and when it gets warm, or we can hot, hot enough, we can just tap and pull it right off. And if it makes a stringer, just burn that stringer right off. going to pull it right off. Little bits, just little bits at a time. Don't get too big of a glob. Just get rid of the end here. I'm thinking the rest of this we can just melt back inside of that marble so it'll just kind of all melt together and then once it's all together we'll have um, a round marble again. You can see it's starting to take its shape. And if you look inside there, as soon as this cools off a little bit, you can see that little mushroom. When it cools down, it'll be blue. The stringer I used was a, was a midnight blue, or is a dark blue. Um, it's, a really, it's a really good, it's my favorite blue. So if we hold it 
at an angle, gravity will take it. We can use this tool to help make it back into a ball shape. So if that cold bond is still good, it should just pop right off. Oh, there it goes. Now we have to make sure to use the tweezers, not our hands, otherwise we'll burn ourselves. That's not good. And we can just burnish this back into the flame. Oh, so we can't just pull it off this time. We have because there's nothing holding it, so it'll just connect itself. So that we don't want to do that. We can do two things now. We can either melt it back in to itself, or we can use the tweezers to help rotate it, or we can use the tweezers to hold it and do that little where we pull, heat up and pull off. Right now we're just going to melt it back in. Oh, look out. Now if it hits you, it'll probably burn a hole in your pants. This is why we wear long pants or not very short shorts or a skirt or something that could where it can get, come in contact with your legs. It could burn you and it's still very, very hot. So we're going to finish burnishing this off. Be sure to use tweezers when handling it, because it's very hot. If it falls on the ground, use tweezers. move it over to this bigger one so it won't fall out this time. Just can heat it up and it should just all melt back into itself. All nice. Alright, so now we're going to turn off our torch, green then red. We're going to move it over so you can see what we did here. It should cool down and you can see that there's a little mushroom in there, a little blue mushroom. Can you see that there? So that's a mushroom. It's a good marble. As long as you have a round one, it should roll like a regular marble as well. I will put it in the kiln for annealing. We'll be good to go. All right. Bye. See you all next time.